Hey everybody, welcome to lesson four. Moving into, well, we're continuing with our discussion of the digital age, new media, how it's uh, affecting us, influencing us, or not affecting us, influencing us. This week we will be talking, uh, doing some more reading about those ideas, hyper and deep attention, the generation, generational divide and cognitive modes. Uh, we'll uh, spend some time with Sherry Turkle talking about unitasking rather than multitasking and uh, read some more about Sherry Turkle's ideas, listen to some videos, listen to her speaking about her ideas, and also we'll do some uh, uh, kind of an alternative point of view uh, perhaps on how the internet enables intimacy. Last week we discussed um, how the internet might be affecting empathy. Uh, some of you pointed out that, that that sort of begs the question of whether or not we're really empathic in our face-to-face -face communications. So it's all kind of just this broad spectrum of human communication that we're looking at here, and it's important to keep those things in mind. Also, we'll be looking at a visual essay for the week, word, image, and the design of the page. Um, now, by week's end, you will need to post a... Uh, to post a dra the draft of your digital story to the My Digital Story G Plus page, you will just, uh, I think it's on the directions in the digital story assignment, you'll just grab the link, pick anyone within, uh, within the organization can view it if they have a link, and then post that to the G Plus page for the rest of the community. Uh, also, you'll need to contribute two annotations to the shared annotation sheet, and uh, in to help us make better use of these collaborative collaborative annotations, because I, I sort of want you looking uh, and considering what your peers have to say on the things that we're reading more than just in the discussions. And I think the annotations represent more of a personal response to the text. And so I'd like you to respond, uh, or to, to complete a talking back activity, collaborative annotation responses. Um, hopefully, I, I think we'll make this uh, kind of a staple for our participation in the class. What you'll do is once someone has posted, or by, by uh, let's see what I have here, by Friday, when you look in here in the shared annotation sheet, you will, uh, uh, for two of the annotations, they need to be from different different of your classmates, two different classmates, you'll, what you'll do is you will look at this section here, the what you wrote column, and you'll respond to what your peer has written in this, well, in this section of the collaborative annotations. And you will put your peer response here in this. So this is my response, whatever. Um, and so what you'll do is you'll just need to read through what you wrote or uh, what this student wrote and then respond to it. Do you have a, a different a different take on the passage from the reading? Do you have a different take or, or a response to what they've written? What you'll need to do is maybe uh, similar for what we've done for the peer review and the Twitter essays is looking at analyzing the choices they've made, maybe expanding on their ideas, um, just talking back with them um, and hopefully this can be a useful way to help us sort of refine our thinking and to expand our thinking and to interact with one another in a, in a different venue. So you'll need to do at least two of those, again one for two different students in the class and you'll post your peer response in this column here. Now, so that's sort of a new, new assignment for the week and uh, other than that we've got the two Google Plus conversations um, I, I appreciate that you're interacting with one another in the Google Plus community, that you're talking about your ideas, the, the, the things that we're, that we're uh, reading and studying here in the course. And, uh, and I, I look forward to our continued discussions there. And then by the end of the week, I will have the reflections posted. So if you, that's, that's the rundown for the week. If you have questions about anything that uh, we're discussing, content, structure, etc., etc., please do feel free to let me know. My inbox is always open.